If you want to make an aesthetic YouTube intro on your smartphone, keep watching. Because in today's video, I'll be showing you the free and easy way you can make an aesthetic intro for YouTube on your iPhone or Android device. On this channel, our goal is to help creators like you make professional looking YouTube videos using nothing but your smartphone. So if you want to learn how to film better with your smartphone, edit better with your smartphone, etc., be sure to subscribe and check out our playlist section. We have so many playlists on our channel full of helpful tips for creators like you. So there are two apps that you're going to need, and both are available on iOS and Android. The first thing you're going to need is a screen recorder. So if you're an Apple user, you could use Go Record. If you're an Android user, you could use AZ Screen Recorder. You basically just need some way to record your screen, and there's plenty of free ways and free apps that you can use to record your iPhone or Android screen. Uh, the second thing you're going to need is the VN VlogNow app. And this is a free video editing app and it has some powerful features that's going to allow us to make an awesome intro for our YouTube videos. So the first thing we want to do is go on to YouTube and try and find some aesthetic backgrounds that we can use for our videos. So I've just here searched aesthetic background. There's tons of videos and you can just click on these and there's a lot of cool aesthetic backgrounds that you can see on YouTube. So what you're going to do is when you find one you like, what you're going to do is you're going to record your screen and then click play on the video so that way you can capture the background and it can get saved to your photo gallery so that way we can use it later when editing our video. So find one you like, screen record it, and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up the VN VlogNow app. So I've just opened up the VN VlogNow app. What I'm going to do is click the plus button down the bottom. I'm going to click new project. And then I'm going to select the video I screen recorded, which is this one. This aesthetic background, as you can see, I screen recorded it, click play. It's these butterflies here I thought was pretty cool. What I'm going to do is just click the check mark there, and then I'm going to click the next button. Now what we're going to do is we are going to trim it to where we want it. So I'm just going to scroll over with my finger, line it up there, and then I'm going to click the split button, delete the last clip, scroll to the end of this effect, Right there it ends basically. Click split again and delete the end. So now the, I'm also going to delete this directed by VN. Uh, so now I just have the clip here in the timeline. Then what I'm going to do is add some text. So I'm going to click tap to add subtitle. I'm just going to choose the standard and I'm going to enter my YouTube channel name. There we go. Added mobile creators. I can resize it. And then I'm going to change the font to something a little more fun, like this uh, Lollipo. I'm going to click on the colors, and I'm going to choose a fun, something like that maybe. That looks fun, and maybe some pink letters with the white there. That looks nice to me, so I'm just going to click the check mark. And then what I'm also going to do is click on motion. And the in animation, I'm going to do a scale. The out animation is just going to be a spin out. And the loop animation, we're going to do a shake. So it's going to kind of move back and forth like that, which is, I think, pretty fun. So then we're going to check mark it. We're going to extend it maybe to five seconds there. And then we click play here. And it pops out like that. And then it spins out. Now, after that, I want to show my Instagram account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Chrome. And what we're going to do is search Instagram PNG. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull up images without a background. So, for example, if I click on this image, notice how the background switches to those white and gray squares. That means the background is transparent it's not going to pop up within the video. So what I'm going to do is save this image like that. Hop back over to VN. And then what I'm going to do is click tap to add sticker slash PIP. I'm going to click on that. Go to photos. And I'm going to import the Instagram image. 
So there we go, I've added the Instagram image in, and as you can see, there's no background. So what I'm gonna do is just resize this, place it over here right now, maybe make it a little smaller, and then I'm also going to add some text again by clicking the text button, and I'm gonna add my Instagram handle into the text. There we go, I've got that added. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want, Colin Michael 96 haha, <laughs> plug. And we're gonna edit the color of the text again to something fun, and I also wanna change the font to something more bold and puffy. So there we go. And you may have to move these the, the photo around a little bit over just to space it out properly. There we go. And then what I'm gonna also do is click on the Instagram, click motion, and I want to spin in, and I want to spin out. And I'm gonna do the same for the text. I'm gonna click on it, motion, I want it to spin in, and I want it to spin out for the out animation. So now, when that spins out, my Instagram spins in, and to finish it off, I want to show a subscribe button to appear on my screen. So with the screen recorder, I actually already went on YouTube and found a subscribe button with a green screen behind it. So I'm actually going to import that in. Here's the video if you want to see it. So there's me screen recording it. It's just this uh, mouse scrolling over. I'm actually going to move this a little bit over. Clicking on the green on the subscribe button. So I'm just gonna trim it just right here. Move it over. So there we go. It's gonna click on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the crop button down below here. And I'm gonna choose 16 by 9 and I'm actually gonna crop it in just a little bit, just so I have nothing but green screen around this button. Click the check mark. And then what I'm going to do is on the bottom it says chroma which is for removing the green background. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to place this circle over the green, and it'll disappear. And I can also choose the intensity of that effect, which I'm going to leave it pretty intense so there's no green on the image, which makes it transparent. And I'm going to line it up right there. That looks good. And now I have the subscribe button I'm actually going to click on this and add motion to it as well. So we'll have it do a little spin in. And then we're also going to have it um, actually out animation and we just want it to fade. And then what we're also going to do is make sure the audio fades. So I'm going to click on the volume button over here. And I want it to fade out and I'm make it two seconds before it ends. I want the music to fade out. I'm going to click check. And then here's the full intro. Now it's not 100% perfect, but you, as you can see, there's so much customization you could apply within VN. And this is just one example of something you can do. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you want to learn how to film better on your smartphone, be sure to click on this playlist over here that I created to help you guys film more professionally on your smartphone. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.